third grade, Mrs. Fondre right here. Today we're going to be working on uh, a new way to paint, all right? Um, I know not everyone has to paint at home, so if you would need some, you can feel free to email me or give me a call. I'll drop some off in the office. I have little containers I can send home for you. Um, but this is one we really need to use paint for because we're doing uh, drip painting, okay? Uh, sometimes it's called splatter painting. But we'll talk about the difference in just a little bit here. But we're going to be making um, a blizzard, a snow blizzard today. Um, it looks a little bit like this, okay? So it'd be great if you have like a darker blue paper as well. If you need paper, let me know. Um, I use paint for the black houses, but you could use a Sharpie or, or a black marker would be great. Um, and you might want a little bit of yellow paint because that will stand out more on this blue paper and some white paint, okay? Um, if you looked at the video I've made before with you about uh, making your own, technically you could make paint at home with water and flour. You just have to mix it to find the right consistency. And for your white paint, actually, because we're doing some dripping and some dropping, it's actually good that it's a little bit more watery. So at school when I do this, I actually mix water into the paint to make it really like splattery, all right? So I'm gonna switch over cameras to show you how to start doing this, all right? So I have a smaller piece of paper here. Whoa, camera, it's better. Um, I have a smaller piece of paper here uh, that's blue. You can grab whatever size you want. I usually use a nine by 12 at school. If you have that kind of construction paper, that'd be great. Otherwise, whatever size you have works. And you wanna start by drawing uh, a house shape. It could be a very simple house and I'll stick simple today because that's what I have. Or you could draw a square with a triangle on top and you fill it in, okay? Um, I do like leaving a spot for windows though because it adds a little bit of contrast and a little bit of pop of color. So right now, just fill that in, all right? If you have paint, it works really well so don't waste your whole marker, but Sharpie works too, all right? I'm just gonna worry about getting most of this filled in nicely. You should take your time coloring this in, okay? So mine's a little more scribbly than yours should be. Right. Um, like I said, I left a hole open for my window, and that's our next step. We're going to grab a little bit of yellow paint. Um, this is the stuff I have in my classroom, and you won't need a whole lot. I'm just going to have a little bit of dot, and we're going to fill in our window. It makes it look a little bit brighter and warmer if we have a little pop of yellow in there. Okay. Um, from there, you might want to wash your brush. I'm just kind of wiping it off on a spare sheet of paper for now, and we're going to get into the drip painting all right so how drip painting works is mixing up so yeah some watery paint and making sure you're mixing it because otherwise uh otherwise it kind of gets stuck at the bottom so really make sure you're mixing it in it kind of almost looks like milk okay there's a difference between drip painting where you very lightly go tap 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 and it drops nicely and literally a little all over the place or a splat which looks really really big all right so for drips, when you mix it up, you just kind of go tap, 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 and you lightly shake your brush, okay? You see, not a lot happened, and that's what we're looking for. We want to do this a few times. A splat, what I don't want to see, is when you really hit your brush hard, okay? So it'd be like, when they start getting tails, I know you're doing some splatting, and usually snowflakes don't have tails. So just stick with a little bit of drip, 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 okay? might take a couple times to get where you want and it's totally okay if it goes on top of your houses because the snow would be flying around in front of your house too right so I only had one house like I said you can have a few houses but do as many dripple dripples you think you need all right it does get pretty messy so you might want to lay some paper towel down when you're doing this um, or just be prepared to clean your tables up after you're done all right so when you are all finished and your painting is dry like let it dry before you try to take a picture because if you pick this up right now all that snow is going to start running down your paper and it looks a little like rain we don't want it to look like rain so once your paper is dry take a photo of it and please send it to me on uh, the google classroom i can't wait to see what your snowy lizards look like all right um, again if you need any supplies paint paper please let me know i'm happy to hook you up with all that good stuff all right can't wait to see what your blizzards look like. Happy creating!